Hello everybody and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I am Jim Coppinger, one of the principals at Zentech Consultants and this is part of uh, part two of an ongoing series of videos that we call Why Bluebeam where we kind of explain to everybody in every industry out there why they need Bluebeam review in their daily workflow processes. It's got a bit of a reputation as being primarily for the construction environment and I really want to show you guys in these videos that that's not the case. And what I really want to focus on today is the concept of creating and editing form fields, right? Giving you the ability to collect data and format your data in the way that you need it. So a real common thing that happens to all of us, and, and this is particularly true if you've got, you know, the, the free PDF viewer, if you're using your, your web browser to, to view PDFs, right? Those are free. They come on all new computers you wind up with what we call a static form. So you get a form like this and you see there's no way to fill out the data here, right? It's just a series of, of boxes and lines that show us, hey, we need information. So what happens? You wind up printing this out, you type it in, you handwrite it in, you scan it back in, you send it to someone. It's all static data. It can't be edited or changed easily. Well, with Bluebeam Review, you can do that and much, much more, right? We're gonna take this form and we're gonna automatically let Bluebeam convert it to what we call a dynamic form, one where people can fill out. And all I have to do is just go up to my form structure and say, look, I need form fields, boxes and areas on this page where people can now go in and they can just click in and type the data, right? All the information that I need, they can go in and type whatever it is that they need to type in all of these fields, right? And it's intelligent. You see it'll automatically recognize where signatures are required. It'll let you put in dates. So if I go in here and try to type in some text in a date field, see it tells me, nope, this has to be a date. It has to be in this format. So it's a very intelligent system, right? And then moving beyond that, this now becomes uh, you know, a dynamic form. You can save it, send it to people, get all the data exactly the way you want with the ability to change and copy and paste it into your documentation at your end. Um, but you also have the ability to go in and modify every single one of these fields to whatever you want, right? So if I go over to the properties, I can change, you know, uh, you know, colors and fonts and styles and, and, and a whole bunch of different items that I can modify here. But what's really nice about doing this, one of the things I really like with Bluebeam is that I have the ability to go in and I can go beyond just, you know, reading the, the fields that are in place. I can add my own. So for example, you see, I can add check boxes, radio buttons, uh, list boxes, drop downs, signature files, buttons. Right? So I'll give you an example here real quick with, with a drop down. Say I just want to throw a couple of items in here that I want someone to choose from. I can just draw a box here. Then you see I can just go over here and I can just, I'm going to turn my caps. So I can say, hey, look, this is, you know, item A. And I'm going to add that to the list. And then I'm going to go to the end and change it to, you know, item B and add that to my list. Right? And then I'll go to item C. Right? And I'm going to add that to my list. And then what I can do is I'm actually going to put in a space in here. So it's just a blank line. And I'm going to add that. And I'm going to move that to the top so that by default, nothing is showing. Right? But now you see I've got that. Oops, sorry, I added an extra one where I didn't mean to. Um, you see I've got that drop down box. Right? Now when people come in here and they're filling out this form, they can just go over here and you see they can choose. I need item A or I need item C or I need item B. Right? It's that easy. I can generate and calculate check boxes, yes or no responses. Uh, I can put in formulas and calculations and you know, I can have hidden fields and, and, and I can put in buttons to email and print and, and everything under the sun very, very easily using Bluebeam Review. So you can see that this type of functionality is vital in just about every type of business, every type of business process that you guys work with. And it is so simple, so easy to do with Bluebeam Review. And that's another reason why you guys should be using Bluebeam Review.